What's up guys, we're back for another episode of the God of High School and right now we're still in the middle of this three versus three competition and I have a feeling that the finale of this tournament is gonna end up being Mori's team versus the shark guys team. They're sort of making him look and feel like a villain and as we all know in any show or anime the protagonist has to defeat the villain now i don't know why his team is not being punished for hurting other people outside of the matches because first of all the shark guy you know used his little spike thing against mori and park and then the girl in the shark guy's team was in the bathroom just straight up beating guys up not to mention that at the end it looked like she was about to do some super powerful kick which might have actually hurt them but of course she was stopped before that happened so yeah i'm interested to see what's gonna happen this episode so let's start watching man he really really took to heart what Mori's grandfather told him. Wait, this guy was here? So did he beat her up with pure martial arts? What the hell was the point of that? Yo, what the fuck? Okay, so now we know that part really really hates him oh that's why he beat him up so if he wins what would his wish be oh so that's the only thing he wants just to fix your leg oh so they actually found out about it yeah, I mean, they won. <laughs> oh, he's actually gonna tell them about Nox? This guy's a part of Nox, of course. Wow. So he wants the key? For what, though? So the match starts right now. Man, this sucks. I don't want Park to be eliminated so soon. Yo, these two are having a full-on fist fight. Oh, shit. Yo, this match is amazing. They're both just going full fist. Wait, what happened? What the hell? It affected him that much? Oh shit, I mean that still probably hurt, right? So they only care about one god. Oh, because they use other gods' power and they don't care about other gods. But how exactly are they using him? I don't think his grandfather is actually helping them. They have to win the whole tournament just for a bit of information. What the hell is he doing? What the? What the hell's gotten into him? Wait, he's telling her to withdraw just because she got knocked down a bit? Yeah, let her fight. Yo, what the hell is that blue water thing? You're telling me Han is a waterbender now? Well, who knows when Han learned how to do that, but he's going to be even stronger now. Come on, Mori, you're the only one who hasn't used 
a power from a god. So it's like Han, where he started this tournament for someone else, but ended up fighting for themselves. <laughs> Wait, what the hell is happening? Oh, it's the guy from Nox. What the hell did he do to them? <laughs> oh shit, yo, both leaders from both groups. Yeah, they both want the key. Wait, are they about to do something? What the hell is he doing? They're bringing down the freaking sword that killed or that hurt Mori's grandfather. Ah, uh, don't tell me that Nox is gonna interrupt this great match. Alright, well, we know that Park is really strong because he was able to stop the shark guy's attack. Come on, Mori, you're getting your ass whooped right now. <laughs> Yo, Mori can't do shit. Look at him. Wait, he's bad at close combat? I thought he was pretty good. Oh, his triple kick thing. Is he trying to help him out or something? Is he going to be able to stop the Jin Mori original? Wait, he's got his own move. <laughs> the hell? Wait, that knocked him down? Oh shit. Dang, Mori just straight up got his ass beat. Oh my god, what is that? That was nasty. A freaking giant gate in the sky. Is that their god? Is he gonna blow the whole place up? Wow, he's talking shit now? Wait, what did he just do? Wait, he knows how to use that? Who the hell is this guy? Wait, who are those? Yo, when did he practice all this shit? Wait, he's gonna straight up fix all his weaknesses? Wait, he can use Han's abilities too? Don't tell me these guys are gonna interrupt the match as soon as it got good. Oh, so this guy's one of the six? A giant bazooka? Wait, wait, what's he doing? Well, by the looks of it, he wants Mori to get stronger. Yeah, it does seem that way. I mean, clearly it's working. Yo, this whole city is chaos right now. <gasps> Literally everybody is fighting. <laughs> well, they're both gonna try their moves again. <laughs> oh shit, we haven't seen the third one yet. Oh shit. Holy shit, what type of kicks are those? Oh wait, what the hell? <laughs> they broke it. Yo, what the hell? There's so much shit going on in this music. No way. Nox was defeated and... 
I think Park was defeated. So that's all you wanted to do? <laughs> Alright, that was a beautiful scene right there. They're getting me emotional right now. Dude, what's going on with him? Wait a minute, is he being offered some powers by a god? Oh my gosh, what the hell is he about to do? Yo, how is he even allowed to use this type of shit in the tournament? Wait, he's the key? You gotta be kidding me. Well, that certainly was a plot twist. I thought that Mori was gonna end up being the key. I mean, he is the protagonist. And then the one time where they were talking about the key, they were showing Mori training. So they still haven't explained exactly what the key is, but maybe it's the person who's offered powers by this god, which looked like a uh, white wolf i don't really remember that well but maybe whoever that god decides to help turns into the key which is a really powerful being they did explain that nox is trying to kill all the other gods because they only believe in one and for that they're gonna need a lot of power and that's why they want the key however the nox leader also mentioned that the tournament administrators are also looking for the key, but we still don't know why. For all we know, maybe the tournament administrators also want to do something evil, but they still haven't explained themselves. So first of all, the fight started with Han versus the other girl, and I think it's confirmed that Han can use Cheerio. We did see some like blue shit appear when he was being attacked. And even Mira was asking him, is that... Now, she didn't finish her sentence, but I imagine she was going to say, is that Sherry Oak? And now, during the Mori fight, it looked like Park was just trying to help Mori out. He was telling him his weaknesses, and clearly, it did help because Mori ended up surpassing those weaknesses and ended up defeating Park. However, the same thing that happened to Mira happened to him. He was defeated. And he was about to lose and then suddenly he gained the power. Let's be honest, Mori is going to get his ass whooped next episode if he doesn't end up obtaining some power. Not to mention that the Nox leader did say that Park is the key. So yeah, he's probably going to be really freaking strong. Also, the best thing about this episode was the scene where they were showing all the chaos that was happening at the same time. We had the fight between Park and and Mori and then while that was happening we had Nox which was trying to bring down this giant ass sword we had a guy from the six trying to stop the sword we had some tournament administrators which were beating up Nox members and then we had those guys playing some intense ass music I mean that created such a hype moment and it made this episode probably one of the best so far but anyways now that the key has been revealed I'm really interested to see what the hell is gonna happen next episode so i'll see you guys there and i hope you guys stick around